it's my very special privilege to call this 13th annual Catholic Days at the Capitol to order. Coming here on behalf of all of our bishops, uh, we have the fifth bishop of the Diocese of Palm Beach. He was here. Bishop Gerald Barbarito. I have received just a few, a few negative comments, and one of them is the bishops, and I hear this all the time, the bishops should not be involved in politics. We're not involved in politics. We're involved in our faith. We have the right to speak it. That's not being involved in politics. We're not saying who to vote for. We're not saying how to vote. We are espousing what we believe, and doing that does not involve us in politics. That's our right. That's our right as citizens of this great country and of this great state. But she's also the brains and the guts and the passion behind Catholic Days at the Capitol. So she deserves a special applause. Our Director of Social Concerns and Respect Life, Sheila Hopkins. Be sure to say that you are your, their constituent if you are. That is so important to them because they're the ones that you're going to they're going to look for you because you're the ones that vote them in office. So they want to make sure that they can have that chance to meet you and talk with you. And we are very happy to present awards to two very fine defenders of life, uh, Representative Dennis Baxley and State Senator Rhonda Storms. They were recipients of the Defensor Vitae Award. It's very good just to, to gather, to enjoy a meal, to enjoy fellowship at our tables, and to hear from people who are actively involved in trying to make uh, the world, uh, certainly our state, into a, a better, healthier, happier place to live. It's been a great gathering. And yeah, I'm really pleased to be here today because we have opportunities today to talk to the representatives, talk to them about the issues that are important to our Catholic faith. Today I'm here to speak about an effort to protect school children and Catholic and other private schools. Thank you everybody. Go forth and do well at the Capitol. We're here at Catholic Days at the Capitol 2012 uh, to lobby on some very important issues that are important to the Catholic Church. We basically meet all our representatives and senators and talk to them about the issues that that we're interested in that concern the Catholic Church. The Church has given us a consistent set of principles and we must be able to profess them to all. We just finished our visit with uh, Senator Anna Terry Flores, who is a champion of pro-life. She has sponsored two of our main bills this year on abortion and human trafficking and and she told us that she looks forward to this day every year because it's the one day that she feels support and love from people uh, because she has to fight so many difficult battles. It was wonderful to be here to get a chance to have this opportunity to make a difference and to speak out for women. It's really worth it to come up here and to support our legislators in that way. And we're having a great time. bishops from around the state will join us today. On behalf of the bishops of Florida, it is also a pleasure for me to welcome those attending from the office of the governor, including the governor himself, the lieutenant governor, as well as distinguished members affiliated with the executive, legislative, and judicial branches of our state government. hearts be enlightened, that you may know what is the hope that belongs to his calling. 